Before I say anything, I want to thank you all for being here. Uh, I know it means a lot to Megan and Jack, and it means a lot to me too. Megs has brought sunshine and joy into my life since she was born. Oh my god! I'm gonna, I'm gonna funny off. I've not got to the sad bit yet. And I just hope that Jack realises what a very lucky man he is to have her. darling daughter that I couldn't be proud of you uh, and the wonderful woman that you are, have become Given that this will be the last time that I will be able to publicly give my beautiful but very headstrong daughter <laughs> advice for the future, I simply couldn't miss the opportunity. Megs was her own person right from the start and was going to do things her way. We thought Megs would love ballet, uh, just like most little girls. Uh, so we started her at tender age of four, and every week we took her to Rustington Hall, where instead of good toes, naughty toes, it was more a case of <laughs> disruptive me Megs, <laughs> exuberant Megs. As we quickly found out, the pirouetting in a tutu wasn't not, was not for her, really. It was said she was a major distraction and it was a dis and it was suggested she might be interested in doing something a little less ballerini. Uh, Megan and I have a close relationship uh, which I treasure uh, but through sometimes more than others. There's a picture of Megan there. Once she painted my toenails in a lovely blue and white grey combo. However, when I went swimming later that week, I had completely forgotten and turned up with my toes still brightly painted. And the lifeguard smiled and said that my toes had made his day. Megs is one of those people who could have been anything she wanted to be if she put her mind to it. She's bright, determined and has such a way with people. With her beautiful smile and winning ways, uh, it's a perfect combination for a housing officer of today. Yeah. Friends have always been important to Megan. She's got a wonderful group of friends. Friends who she's known since school. Ooh, school. <laughs> and friends she's made along the way. I've always been so impressed on how she's been such a rock for her friends. <sighs> and how they've supported her through the tough times. But of course, sadly, there are spaces at tables Yeah. 
where, where we're missing loved ones. But I feel sure that they are here are with us today, watching with love and pride. So, to my advice to you for the future, would be to you both, never laugh at your spouse's choices. Remember, you are one of them. Please stand and raise your glasses to the happy couple, to Meg and Jack. So, firstly, we did it. We married. And what an honour! What an honour it is to have you all here today. When I took a moment earlier to reflect and look around at all our friends and family in one place celebrating our wedding, it made me realise how lucky we are. So, on behalf of Megan and I, or for the first time, should I say, on behalf of my wife and I, thank you. Mum, Dad, thank you, thank you for making me the man I am today. And well done on raising such a well-rounded, articulate, handsome and intelligent man. <laughs> I'm extremely proud to have you both as parents and although I wasn't always the best behaved, I hope you enjoyed raising me and with that being said, I was a lot better than my older siblings and I've always said you stopped at perfection. To all of Meg's bridal party, you all look beautiful today. You've had to put up with Meg talking about our wedding for a total of 517 days non-stop. <laughs> so thank you for being so patient, kind and understanding. You've helped her every step of the way through the dress shopping to moaning about me not cleaning my beard trimmings from the sink. You <laughs> you've been a godsend and I know you've done everything that Meg's asked and a lot more. And I know she had an incredible time on her head and do because she hasn't stopped talking about it since. So can we please raise a glass to Meg's maid of honour, Shannon, and her bridesmaids, Robin, Emily, Chloe, Lizzie and Lois. <laughs> to my ushers, I'm extremely honoured to say I could call you all a best mate. You all have enough individual stories to stand up here and rip me to shreds. And that is why I'm only going to let one of you do it. <laughs> I'm, I'm proud to have you all by my side today and you've survived years of me giving you abuse. So congratulations, you've all earned your free suits. So cheers to my ushers, Dean, Calvin, Trav, Shane and Sam. Now, my best man Dan has played rugby since he was about four and taken a few too many blows to the head. So, oh, it's still... <laughs> Some of the stories he tells you in his speech might not be entirely accurate. <laughs> but, but seriously, Dan, it's been one of a hell of a journey leading today, leading to today, having a best man who knows everything about me. And I'm sure at one time or another, a lot of people in this room thought we were a couple, including Meg. He's been by my side in some of the worst times and I could not think of anyone more fitting to be standing by my side today. So cheers to my best man, Dan. Megan. Receive this ring. Receive this ring. As a sign of my love and fidelity. As a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> Jack. Jack. Receive this ring. Receive this ring. As a sign of my love and fidelity. As a sign of my love and fidelity.
as you travel life together, may God guide you on your way and bring you newfound joy in each other day by day. May your home be graced with peace. May your sharing know no bounds. May your friendship know full measure in this lifetime love you found. As your closeness deepens, may each moment be the start of life lived hand in hand and of love lived heart to heart. Now to the people that couldn't make it. At Christmas, Meg and the Rumble family lost someone very special. A lady that could light up any room with her, her smile and her amazing sense of humour. A tiny lady with a wonderful personality. I know that she'll be extremely proud of you, Meg, and she's looking down on us today with that famous smile beaming across her face. So can everyone please be upstanding and raise a glass to Carol Rumble. Now to my brother David. Never in a million years did I believe that David wouldn't be standing by my side today. To not have my best friend here today breaks my heart. But I know he's looking down and jumping for joy. Meg, he'd absolutely loved you. A man that made being late fashionable. A giant man with a giant heart. So, can we once again be upstanding and raise a glass to my brother David? And with that being said, to all absent friends and family. To my beautiful wife, you look stunning today and your smile always lights up the room. I met you at a wedding back in 2018 whether it was luck, fate or the free tequila that drew us together, <laughs> I'll forever be grateful for whatever it was. I remember our first date in Brighton. There was no way of us knowing where this journey would take us. It was just a pub crawl through the lanes where you tried to match me drink for drink. I haven't seen you drink a pint of Guinness since, but I completely fell in love with you. The way you adopted my nine stone dog and treat her like she's a baby. And the way you just look out for everyone. Always put no. You always put others first, no matter what, and I love that most about you. How kind you are, and I just want to say thank you to you. You've changed your whole life for me. You moved to Bexhill, and you had to put up living with my dad. <laughs> <laughs> that alone makes you a keeper. <laughs> and now we can focus on our future. We've got our home, our pets, and our perfect life together. And I cannot wait to continue this journey with you. Whatever's to come, you've got my support, and I know I have you. I don't know what I've done to deserve you, but I'm incredibly lucky. You cheer me on at my highest and pick me up at my lowest. You push me out of my comfort zones and challenge me to be better. We've eaten pizza in Pisa and seen the Northern Lights in Norway. I want to continue traveling the world with you tick everything off our bucket lists. I will do the best I can for you now and for always. Words will never be able to describe what you mean to me. I feel like I've known you my whole life, but I want to know more. You're my best friend, my soulmate. Thank you for making me the happiest man alive today. And I cannot wait for the rest of our lives together. Ladies and gentlemen, friends and family, it is my absolute pleasure and my proud duty to propose a toast to my wife. Can we all please be upstanding and raise a glass to Mrs. Megan Matthews? For those of you who don't know me, I am Dan, I'm the best man uh, today. Um, I, Jack gave me a, a two minute time speech. Um, for his speech, and uh, I, I was like, two minutes, Jack. I was really surprised. Wondered why the short time limit. I couldn't couldn't understand why. Then I realised anything over two minutes is uncharted territory for Jack. <laughs> when, when Jack was running the the Hastings half, uh, Jack Jack felt a pressing change in his bowels. Um, and ever the charmer, he convinced an old couple watching in their garden to let him use their toilet. I often think about the, the face of, of poor old Doris when she went back in there after you'd finished.
Uh, but seriously, Jack's devotion and commitment to Thea shows a lot about him as a person. Jack is incredibly loyal, trustworthy and honourable man. And this extends not just to Thea, but his family unit, his friends and his relationship with Meg. Family has always been a massive part of Jack's life and unfortunately has also brought some tough times. As many of you will know, a while back we sadly lost David, Jack's brother, and I know he would have approved of you, Meg, um, and I'm sure that he would be the first one onto the dance floor and having shots. So make sure on his behalf, later on, we all do that. So if you can all raise a glass to David. I missed a little part of that out, and I, and I want to go back to it. Normally I wouldn't. Um, the part I missed about that was, was actually how proud I think he would have been of you, Jack and how much you've grown as a man and become such a role model to many. So I think you'd be really proud of you, Jack. Sorry. Count the moments inside my mind, steep in the afterlife. Watch you watching the colors rise Summer twilight skies on fire Never wishing I was somewhere else Held on to you like Loctite Getting through it when it hurt like hell Feels like the only thing we've done right It's a star, it's a light, it's a signal fire It's the sound of your voice cutting through the night It's a song, it's a note, it's a quiet sight Keeps me dancing through the static, everything's alright I think we were born for it I think we were born for it Hey, I think we were born for it Never felt so at home before, moved a lot when I was a kid Hear your footsteps run to the door, on the corner where you live Never wishing I was someone else, we let it all go at midnight Looking at the stars to find ourselves, full of life inspired at the same time It's a star, it's a light, it's a signal fire It's the sound of your voice cutting through the night it's a song, it's a note, it's reflected light Keeps us dancing through the static and I hear you sigh Said I think we were born for it I think we were born for it I think we were born for it Helping you, helping me see my you grow into someone you're proud of Hope you get to hold 